Hey, what's up everyone? It's Showtime Doctor here. So normally I would go into the game and show you guys the topic I'm talking about, but obviously the maintenance is going on right now. If you didn't see my previous video, patch 1.1, I went over it a bit. Looks pretty good. Looks like they're making a good amount of improvements to the game. There's still some issues there, but I'll go over that another time. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to give you visual aids for this, but, you know, just trust me. I was just looking at it right before the patch hit. So here's the thing. PvP in this game. We've kind of got some issues we kind of need to talk about. So, number one. And granted, before I say anything... Apparently they're updating the PvP matchmaking system, which was going to be the first thing I was going to complain about. Because for those of us, you know, free to play when we're getting up to uh, Challenger and Beyond status or Elite, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, you know, we'll run into some teams, you know, it's like full purple stars, got everything, the best runes, and you know, like super whaley. And I love whales, you know, you guys play the game the way you want to, that's fine. But the issue for us is... Well, how are we supposed to beat that when we're still building up, you know, our fifth character, let alone <laughs> getting our four? If we're lucky, we have three to four stars on most of our characters by this point in the game. Well, um, number one, the meta in PvP for most of the weeks that uh, it's been out. Now, granted, the first week was kind of a whatever because everyone's still getting used to things and most people didn't have their 60 talents yet, etc. Week two, you start to see more 60 talents, and now we're at week three where most people have at least three, if not five, of their 60 talents. And that's cool, you know, because strategies change depending on what characters can do. Well, number one, the meta always seems to revolve around revive. If you look at the top teams, I'd show you right now, but I can't. But most of the top teams right now, since Mary's banned this week, uh, they got a leader that's Ramu. Ramu, for those who don't know... Uh, it's a hero that basically, uh, she heals, she removes debuffs, she revives on a fairly long cooldown for her, honestly, but it's like a group revive if she does it right. And then her one is deceptively good because it has like, I think base is a 35% chance without upgrades to stun you. So if you actually build one that's counter attack, she'll be stunning you like crazy, dude. So she's actually a really effective character in this really effective characters, of course, people are going to use that. If you look at all the top PvP teams right now, most of them in the top 25, they have a Ramu. A lot of them as leader, but they have a Ramu, they have a Ru. Ru, another really annoying support to kill in this game with a revive. And they also have a Kane, which I covered the Kane topic earlier, so I won't even get into that. But... The main problem we're having is revive is making the meta because a lot of people they're tending to go towards that tanky revive and it's like to me it's the most unfun but i, but I admit very effective uh way to play so the other issue has been that on week two of this game they banned nemesis nemesis is one of the here one of i only know of three heroes and i can actually completely forget the third but i know i've seen anti-revive mechanics on one of them we have a fourth hero coming with anti-revive i believe but the issue is, Nemesis was banned in week two. Mary's banned this week. Nem uh, Mary is on both sides of the fence. She casts a lot of anti-revive, but also she herself has a revive for herself for two turns, and she'll get up. She has all her cooldowns, so if she stays alive, you know, she'll just nuke the living hell out of, out of your team, probably for a second time, depending on how quickly you've killed her. And I'm sure we'll see her back next week, because... But the revive meta is kind of out of hand, so... I know a lot of people are saying, Well, Showtime Doctor, all you gotta do is get good and get those anti-revive heroes. Well, one, like I said, half of them, almost half of the good ones that are actually in the meta have been banned. And number two... I don't like when people tell me to counter something that's 100% with something that is, you know, 40%. 35%, whatever the percentages are on the skills. And granted, you can upgrade the skill and get a higher percentage, but st it's still RNG. You're like, well, Showtime Doctor, that would be unfair if uh, they had a 100% chance to stop revive, because then uh, revive would not be effective. Well, there's got to be a way to balance it so that it doesn't get this ridiculous. I applaud Net Marble because from turn 50 and beyond, they start to increase attack damage. 
So that directly counters those, uh, you know, super tanky revive meta teams. But even so, there still needs to be something done with revive. I'm not saying nerf revive, but it would be nice to have maybe like a chance the same way that uh, the anti-revive techniques work. So imagine, like, let's say 70% chance to revive. Or if you have a person with a multi-revive, have it be like, you know, 100% chance to revive one person. 65, 70% chance to revive two people, etc. And like, don't, just don't make it 100% certain because, I don't know, it, it just seems like it's a little bit out of whack. And obviously it's effective, so everyone's doing it. But these are just ideas I'm floating. I'm not saying nerf the characters overall into oblivion. I'm not saying that at all. Or another thing that they could do, maybe make it so that a person revi can revive, but they can revive once per, like, let's say, 30 turns now. Because that won't work. Maybe 50 turns. Something like that. Because... And I know, because in effect, that makes that character worse, obviously, because they're not going to be able to use their skill 3 in most cases. Especially someone like Lydia, whose revive is on a 3-turn cooldown. But uh, there's something that needs to be done, because that's not fun, you know? That's just not fun to see. Revive, 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 revive. If you're using it personally for your offensive team, I got no issue with it, because that's your offensive team. But for defensive teams, I think they should nerf it a bit where it can only be done a couple times during the battle. And that, and that goes for, uh, well, I don't know if that should go for an attacking team. And I guess part of me, you know, I'm, I'm complaining about it because I don't have revive heroes really other than Lydia. Like seriously, I don't have a Ru, I don't have a Ramu. Uh, i trying to think who else revives. I don't have a Mary. I don't have a Mina. Although Mina's revive is broken. Not broken like bad, broken as in it's not working properly. That triple revive on her 60. Uh, who else revives? I'm sure there's like one or two other characters. But you guys get what I mean. Oh, Demos. Yeah, I don't have a Demos either. So <laughs> it's just the way things have worked out. So anyway, so I would like to personally see something done about that. Not an over nerf. I, I don't advocate nerfs in most cases unless something is just like seriously ridiculous. Uh, revive's not quite at that point because you can still work around it in most cases. But if they over nerf Kane, the revive meta is going to get even stronger because there's not going to be enough anti healing. The one thing that's good is you can at least stop the healing, you know, other than when they remove debuffs, obviously. But with like a cane or someone else who has a like I think Mary does it too, doesn't she? Uh gets rid of healing for two turns with a debuff. Anyways, just stuff to chew on, guys, because the re revive meta in my opinion it's a little out of hand. It's not, you know, like oh my god, ru game ruining. But it, it does need some tweaks in my in my opinion. And Kane needs some tweaks too. Check out my Kane video. Uh, I don't want him to get over nerfed either. I'm just not a fan of nerfs in general. I like to see more, more options to counter things. I like to see characters get stronger. I don't want... If a character is very effective, I want to see another character buffed so that they can be effective against that character and there can be multiple, you know, multiple ways to handle it so that that character is still strong if you got that character. You know, I don't want to see, like, a League of Legends or something like that to where characters just get nerfed into oblivion and then you, bu you got them, you were all excited, and now they're garbage. Like, I, I don't want to see that, so... Anyways, guys, so that's the topic of PvP. I'll be making some more videos here. Uh, game's in patching right now, but normally I'm streaming right about now. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, afternoons and evenings. So hope to see you at one of the streams on my Twitch. Showtime DR is my Twitch.tv. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out, and I hope your farm goes well, and I hope that this patch that's coming out really improves the game.